Hello YouTubers and welcome to Chris and Tim's simple how-to videos. Today's video we're going to show you how to configure your network so you can host your own server. Let's get started. Okay, first thing you're going to want to do, you want to go to computer, double click on local disk C, find users, uh, then your username, in my case it's Serenity, uh, then you want to go to your saved games, and then you'll see the DCS folder, and then the config folder. Okay, here on the network CFG. Now, when I right-click, I have the option to open it up with uh, Notepad++, which I do recommend, because uh, it puts it in, you know, straight up and down line and columns it for you. Um, if you do it in regular Notepad, um, it, it does a long line across the screen. It's the same basic thing. It's just a little bit more tricky to look for. Now, if you don't have this option, you do have to right-click on this, because if you double-click on it, and I'll show you, you're just going to get, you know, search the web for the appropriate program. Uh, so right click on it. Now if you don't have this option to open it with or anything like that, all you really have to do is uh, drag this, put it on your desktop, open up your notepad, and then drag that particular file into your notepad to get the same effect and then you save it in the end. Okay, alright so we'll do this and uh, I already have uh, network open so or plus plus and I opened up two of them because I wanted you to kind of see what it looked like before. Okay, this is the finished version basically. Alright, and on here, pause on load, you wanted to set that to false. And pause on load, you know, from true to false. And then the public, you wanted it to show true, this way it shows up in the list. Other than that, you know, you could also have people connect to your IP through the multiplayer. All right. Uh, everything else, you pretty much leave the, na the same. If you want to put a password, you just type the password in between the uh, quotation marks. And then you save it, and then it'll automatically be saved for the password, which is the same thing you can do in the multiplayer. Now, uh, if you don't see public in a line, basically what you'll have to do is you'll have to sign on to DCS multiplayer uh, and then try to host your own server. Uh, and then basically what it'll do is that this line will show up after you do that once you back out and come back and do it again if that doesn't show right there alright the next thing you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go to your firewall which control panel now I always do the drop down here at the view large icons versus category so things are a little easier to find for me uh, and then you just find your firewall and you go to the advanced settings okay Let's see. Inbound rules. All right. So you want to click on new rule. All right. Then you want to click on port. Click next. Uh, and the port that needs to be open both in your router and in your firewall is 10308. Okay. Then you go through the steps. Allow the connection. Uh, you can click them all or just click public. You know, it's up to you. I left the mine all open. Um, you want to name it. I recommend you name it DCS World or, you know, something along that line uh, that's not named something else. But make sure it says DCS, you know, Multiplayer 1 or 2, however you really want to do it. If you want to put a description in there, fine. Um, then when you're finished, click Finish. And you'll also have to do this in UDP as well. And then, you know, the same basic process goes, applies, name it. All right. And once it's done, like you can see here, I did mine. I did uh, DCS multiplayer and DCS, you know, multi and then multiplayer for mine. Um, and then, you know, we're going to, at the end of this video, I'm going to send you a link. We're going to make another video. Uh, we're going to go into a router uh, and show you how to open up the ports. Now, keep in mind that every router is different. Uh, so there might be a little bit of a different style, different learning curve to open up these ports in your router. And it'll be the same ports to 10308. Now, if you guys are having trouble with this, I do have uh, me and Chris, we run a uh, Simple How To's 
Skype help desk. Um, now, you know, if we're there, we definitely answer it. If we're not there, uh, just leave a message of some sort and we will get back to you as soon as possible. I hope this helped you guys out. Uh, as always, have a great day and a better tomorrow and be safe.